Well, we have a lot to talk about tonight. We're excited about the fact that world champion Ric Flair is on his way in this week. He'll be having a couple of very exciting bouts. Also, we'll be discussing our new champions. We have a new world six-man tag team champion and, of course, the new American heavyweight champion. Now, while Bill Irwin is doing his best to shake the ring to the point that I can't speak, so I'm going to make him happy and get out of here. Get out of here. Here's the opening bout. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Championship Sports here at the beautiful Will Rogers Coliseum in Fort Worth, Texas. All matches are sanctioned by the National Wrestling Alliance. Our first event of the evening, one fall, 15-minute time limit. First of all, on my right, from the USA, representing General Akbar and Devastation Incorporated, Wild Bill Irwin. And his challenger on my left, from Nashville, weighing 240 pounds, George Weingroff. Your referee is Bronco Lubitsch. about an evening George Weingroff to face Wild Bill. General Akbar in the ring. A very quiet beginning here tonight, but I have an idea with that whip that it's going to spice up in a hurry. School has started. Folks back to the routine of going to school, making a living, what have you. And that makes it a great time of year to be on hand here at Will Rogers Coliseum. As we are going to be feeling the results of the convention center car at Labor Day for a long time, I know, because of several serious points that took place, several serious happenings. One fall, 15-minute time limit, opening bout. Wild Bill has Weingroff from behind. Weingroff turns the table, says it, takes him down, got him pinned. Here's the count of not even one as Irwin gets the shoulders up as Bronco Lubitsch arrives. Hey, boy, Tonight on our show, we'll be talking to Playboy manager Gary Hart with his advisee, Chris Adams. We'll be talking to Kevin Von Emmerich, the Iceman, Gino Hernandez, General Akbar, Jake the Snake Roberts, as you see Irwin now. Now Weingroff on top. Irwin kicks out and moves toward the rope, and the hold will be broken. Hey, get him off of me! We'll be talking to you folks in uh, Carthage, in Fort Hood, in Valley View, up north of Fort Worth, and Burleson, just to the south of Fort Worth. Tim Russell country. Wild Bill with a half Nelson on George Weingroff, the man who is legally blind, but a man who does not let that handicap stop him in any way, shape, form, or fashion. New American heavyweight champion, Gino Hernandez, reclaiming the belt in a very disturbing fashion. Disturbing not only for Mike and for you fans, but also for Stella Mae French, who was injured and carried out by the police thanks to Andrea. The Lady Giant, six foot three, 205 pounds with a bright red streak through her hair. Chains around her thighs and spikes around her wrists. And neck, of course, Ralph reminds me. And waist and ankle <laughs> reminds Jim Lund. You've been looking at her, Jim? Irwin pushed away. Now, Gino, of course, won that bout thanks to Andrea having a foreign object which she nailed Mike with from behind after she floored Stella May also from behind, who was outside watching outside the uh, ring area. More on that later on. New World Six-Man Champions, and although Mike was injured in that wild American title about he heroic that came from the back after he was unable to wrestle. And as Kevin Von Erich openly says, wound up winning the bout for us. More on that shortly. Rick Flair coming in to have an exciting world title about Monday. 
Gino Hernandez is going to face the winner of that world title bout Friday in Dallas, and Gino claims he's going to be a winner. And will now be the world heavyweight champion to go along with the American title and Texas title. Well, we heard that one pop. A big ooh from the crowd. Erwin now playing Mr. Nice Guy. Along the back rope. Erwin is knocked across the face. And crawls to the corner. denying the fact that he's blind. Well, Chris Adams has had nothing but success and since bringing on the services of Playboy manager Gary Hart as his advisor. We'll be talking to Chris and Gary very shortly. It will be Chris Adams involved in some very exciting action coming up in these weeks ahead. Five minutes, five minutes. Flair, in fact, will go against Flair Monday night for the World Heavyweight Championship. And boy, when you talk about Gary Hart in there, aiding Adams the way he has, and the fact that Adams has not even come close to losing since Hart has been around. Hey, we may well see that title change right here in this very ring Monday night. Erwin getting rough with Weingrop. This is the big roughhouser from Duluth, Minnesota. We have not seen those tremendous stomps that he loves to use yet, but I'm sure we will. There's a knee to the head. There's the drive from the right. Tonight we'll show you our main event if we have time involving Devastation Incorporated versus Kevin and Kerry Von Erich as Akbar continues to work hard for a world six-man title team from his stable. Erwin reaching for the ropes to keep from going down with some set flip, but he can. Two, and the kick out. And in the turnbuckle. Flying mare by Wild Bill Irwin. Mike Von Erich injured at the hands of Andrea, the Lady Giant, Nicola Roberts. She's big and she's mean, as we saw Labor Day. Erwin holding on to Weingraf. Mike Von Erich had that shoulder injured. The doctors told him right there in the back that night that if he went back out, he was risking permanent injury and may never wrestle again. That's why he chose not to wrestle in that bout, which we're going to show you later on tonight. But yet when the chips were down, it was Mike heroically coming from the back. And we'll discuss more of that during our television main event tonight. Heroin with a drive to the top of the chest. not giving him much of a chance moving around coming in and booting that shoulder inside of the head with that boot right side rope missed for the right back turns the drop kick with one foot by George Weingrop fans cheer and look at Akbar as Weingrop scores some points there's a drop kick from the corner buckling there's one to the face 
job. Giving Wild Bill Irwin all he can handle. Atomic drop over the knee and Irwin. Down for the count of just two. Television title match coming up, Chris Adams. Defending that belt against one of the TYTs. Look at that, Irwin coming off the near rope. He's really floored wine job. Could be. Mike. Right here at Will Rogers Coliseum. The action begins at 8 o'clock. You're going to see an exciting newcomer by the name of El Grande Diablo, an action against George Weingrop. Buck Rock and Rose Newhoff will be facing Norval Austin. Mike Reed faces Coco Ware. The missing link goes against Chief Jewel Strongball. Then we're going to have two exciting feature bouts. The first will be a tag team event. Wild Bill and Scott Hogg, the magnificent Irwin brothers, going against the Iceman and Mike Von Erich. And for the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, Nature Boy Ric Flair will be in to defend his title against the man we're about to talk to, Chris Adams. That's Flair versus Adams highlighting the great card Monday night. Right here, Will Rogers Coliseum, 8 o'clock. The weather's still hot outside, but it's cool and air-conditioned here. And I hope you're also on hand along with us. Well, here's Chris Adams. Here's Gary Hart. And as we talk about world title opportunity coming up Monday, I must bring up the fact that there has been a great deal of controversy regarding uh, the signing of you two together due to uh, your reputation, sir. I would rather for Chris to answer, and I think he'd give you a better opinion of what type of man I am actually to work for. Okay. Chris? Thank you, Mark. I would just like to explain to the people that I feel I have made the right decision in choosing Gary Hart to be my advisor and manager. And the reason is that since he has taken over as my manager and advisor, I haven't been ripped off once. In fact, in fact, I haven't lost a match. So I really think I owe that to Gary Hart. Now, I really, really am surprised at having a title shot so soon, you know, so soon after Gary uh, took the advisor job, I just, really, Gary, I'm really surprised. I mean, thank you very much. But being undefeated, uh, that has to put a lot of uh, emphasis on your chances of winning. Well, number one, what I want the people to remember most of all, if you have someone to knock the debris out of the way, you don't have to wait around for the rest of your life to get a shot at the world's heavyweight champion. Christopher Adams has the ability to beat Ricky Flair right here in the Will Rogers Coliseum next Monday night. I know that's a tall order. A lot of people have stood before you and said they were going to do this and that. But next week in the Will Rogers Coliseum, we're going to show Ricky Flair and every wrestling fan in the world that Christopher Adams deserves to be the number one contender. Now, Chris Adams has wrestled for a long time. And as everyone knows, deserves a shot at the world's champion as much or if not more than anyone. Chris Adams is a dedicated young man. He has developed a new hold that we have not used in any matches and will not use here tonight. But next Monday night, with Ricky Flair. We're going to use it then. And the reason we haven't used it is I don't want any hetchy catchy films going around and knowing about our business. So next Monday night, Ricky Flair, he's going to give you a wrestling lesson in your life. You like to say that you never rode a horse and you've never wear cowboy boots, but you the midnight cowboy. Well, in Texas, you're only 11.45. Here's the Midnight Cowboy next to me. Gary Hart, Chris Adams, a new hole to look forward to Monday. No, we're not going to say any more about it. Next Monday night, you'll see it because I'm sure you'll be sitting right over there. Win, lose, or draw, Ricky Flair, you're going to know that Chris Adams 
is coming for your lunch. Okay. Need we remind you that Chris Adams is undefeated.